Welcome to the December edition of the Missouri School Boards Association's Board Report. We begin with a look at the 2023 MSBA Annual Conference in cooperation with MASA and MOASBO. This year's event was once again held in Kansas City. MSBA President Ruth Johnson got the conference off to a great start during the first general session. During her remarks, she shared the story of her transformative journey through public education and how school board members make journeys like hers possible. Each of you, as passionate members of your local school boards, holds the key to that transformation for your students. Your belief in their potential, regardless of their background, can change the course of their entire lives. You possess the ability to pave the way for brighter futures, offering hope and opportunities where none seem to exist. Education is the great equalizer, breaking down the walls that social and economic hardships build. It provides a platform for dreams to flourish, talents to be nurtured, and potentials to be realized. As members of the school board, we are the gatekeepers of this transformative power, able to shape educational policies and programs able to, that level the playing field and other genuine opportunities for all. ABC News veteran and creator and host of What Would You Do, John Quinones, was the keynote speaker for the second general session of the conference. His presentation detailed his odds-defying journey and celebrated the life-changing power of education. Yes, today, I wouldn't be the man I am today had it not been for the education I received in public school and then in college uh, at a time when all the odds were stacked against me. So then along came um, my first hero besides my mother and father, and it was my English teacher, my English teacher, Mrs. Gutierrez in 10th grade at Brackenridge High School. When everyone else had told me, you're not college material, you know, you're, no one in your family has ever gone to college. You speak with a funny accent. You don't have any money. Your grades on that aren't all that great. When those teachers, you know, what gives you the audacity, John Quinones, that, to think you can go to college? When those teachers told me that, my high school English teacher, Mrs. Gutierrez, did the opposite. She said, Johnny, I love the way you write your essays in English class. I love the way you tell stories. Have you thought about journalism? Missouri's 2024 Teacher of the Year, Greg Kester, spoke during the conference's third general session and banquet. Kester is a social studies teacher at Potosi High School in the Potosi R3 School District. He said that when people wonder about the status of our state and nation, the answers we are looking for are right in front of us. Uh, the test of a nation's status is the quality of its citizenry. And I have good news. My country is full of good quality citizens. I'm staring at a group of good quality people right now, and I can prove it. What do you call a person who runs for an elected office that does not pay? <laughs> now that sounds like a school board member, but at the core, it is really just a quality person. The key attribute to the best quality people is not their patience, not their ability to forgive the eternally unhappy, but their capacity to love and to serve. It is easy to love one's spouse, one's family, one's friend, and one's neighbor. The capacity to love and serve in this instance in which I speak is love for what I refer to as the generalized other, which is much more difficult. The generalized other is the person that you may never meet, the person whose name you will never know, or the kid attending your school district that you will never see. It is this ability to love and serve that is required of elected school board members every day. This love and service is a reflection of people of quality and citizens of virtue. These are the people who run for an office, not to build a resume, not for personal gain, but to serve their neighbor, their community, and the children in their local public school. It is a great thing this thing we call public service. In addition to the outstanding general sessions, the conference featured more than 70 concurrent sessions on a wide range of topics, Missouri's premier education trade show, the Education Expo, MSBA Student Showcase of Public School Programs, and much more. MSBA's Delegate Assembly also met in conjunction with the annual conference to establish the position statements that will guide advocacy work throughout the coming year. 
That's it for this month's edition of the MSBA Board Report. Thank you for allowing us to have some time at your board meeting, and thank you for your dedication and the amazing work you've done throughout all of 2023 to ensure all students succeed. We'll see you again in January of 2024 for the next MSBA Board Report.